guys, so welcome back by another character review from Guild Wars 2. This time I am reviewing the Azura Thief. So, let me see. That is an Azura. We're just gonna check out the mail. Thief. Buddy Busher. They are quite small. Or, I thought they were. Armor. <laughs> the change aren't a lot or not fast. Something like that. Colors of their skin. One. It doesn't really change, does it? Oh, it isn't that harsh. All right, uh, skin markings, none. I. That in the ear is really weird. The sound is really weird. Oh, this is cool. I always like skin markings, I don't know why. All right, head options. <laughs> There's a lot of things that you can choose from. Faces and skin. Oh. Yes, faces and skin color. Can you change your face? Ah, oh, weird. And the ears. Alright, you got a lot of different things. Face details, I'm not gonna do anything for that. Eye colors. Just click a few of them. And like the technical tomorrow. Black. Your nose, your mouth, your chin your head size and then the armor that's a normal but we're going to take a, a female thief let's see what a female can do same with height body physics with skin colors different varieties how do you say that let's take that one markings it's not you cannot see it as good as you can see it on the mill because he has a bathing suit I like that one. Head options, nothing. Same, uh, not not the same as for the male. Well, as you say, is it the same as for the male? But a thing that the male has and the female doesn't have, uh, I feel kind of pity for that because I love the little uh, dreads. How do you say those? And the female cannot get that one. That's really, 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 really a pity. In my idea, I want to give her some bluish. Yeah. No, I don't like it. Oh, whatever goes with that. a lot. Oh, that looks fine. Um, a face and skin. 
color, but skin color will already change. That's a cute face. That's a really nice face. That's a good face too, but I'm gonna take that one. Uh, yes. I think the same thing that you can choose for the male. Face details. Color of the eyes, I'm gonna say it like that. Same with the males, you can change anything in light. Oh, more it dies. Go for that. Upper, lower. Everything got these colors. As usual. Alright, so. In my line of work, it is important to understand the power of anonymity. My talents lie in the arts of stealth, infiltration, and escape. I do not draw attention to myself to guard my identity. I have my face behind the mask of darkness. Determination, I mean business. I am the bruiser, the muscle, the bear you don't want to poke. My headband keeps my vision clear no matter how physical I get. Or subterfuge or something like that. A mask draws attention and an uncovered face allows people to identify you. I prefer a more subtle subterfuge. A drawn hood lets me blend into the crowd and no one knows that I'm there. I think I want to do that one. Or that one. Mm, well, whatever. Trouble may follow me, but I use my charm. I'm charming. No one can resist me at my best. I know just what to say to highlight the mood of both courage. Dignity. Uh, I'm dignified even when up to my ears in mud. Is what makes people respect me. A serious, a thoughtful demeanor of the route to success. Mm. I'm ferocious. Threatening violence gets me further than any than anything else. I'm a natural, though I do try to use my powers for intimidation for good. I always go with charm, I guess. I'm a member of the College of Aesthetics. Builders and architects make up the College of Aesthetics. We build to last. Some colors conservative, but we ex excel at great new designs using old materials and innovative ways. Expanding the pure view of no magic for practical applications. The callings of dynamics produce gizmo makers, extraordinary energy, enthusiasm and boldness are our best qualities. We believe in a leveraging expandable nature of all things. If a prototype explodes, it isn't a failure unless the lesson gets unlearned. A member of the College of uh, Xenergetics, uh, we, study, we study how energy patterns form an algeometrical fractal propagate. A few beyond our college understand the philo so, philoscopical and <laughs> mythical complexities of our interest. We devoutly research the nature of internal elements. Um, my first invention was the Volley Golem. Most golems and powerhouses designed for warfare. They show absolutely no subtlety or originality of design. My golem was compact and efficient, and it has an unparalleled package of futures. It rev so revolutionized lab cleanup, and it makes a great cocktail too. Or the transmospheric converter. What unimaginable um, joy to be able to change the weather at my whim. I only, if only the prototype had been more powerful. Nevertheless, the design was cutting edge. My transmospheric conspirator was a masterpiece of other genius. I wish I had more funding. Uh, the infinity ball. They said it was a toy, a pipe dream, and a waste of resources. They were wrong. My infinity predicts the future. So what if it doesn't predict it correctly? every time. That's irrelevant. Could it give me a Avengers? Hmm. Reply Hazy. Ask again. Going for that one. My first advisor, the one who taught me almost everything I know, almost, was Bronk. Good old Mr. Bronk, Master Bronk, who told me the benefits of superior firepower. He liked to say, when it comes to besting the enemies, there no much, there's no, no such thing as overkill. Or Zynga. 
Mr. Zynga told me that the best form of magic is good old-fashioned luck. She liked to say planning ahead is the 90s is for ninnies who thinks they can predict every possible outcome. The future is mutable. Go with the flow. Or Master Blip was known for his redundance as well as his redundancies. Okay. It's the same word. He often said, you first try should never be your last, especially if it succeeded. It can always succeed bigger next time. Or Councillor Kenny wasn't just another bureaucrat. He was an explosive as a political a parascientologist. She was fond of saying, always bring a witness, preferable and expendable one. You never know when you need a, a scapegoat. That one. So, though trouble may follow me, I overcome it with charm. I'm a member of a good stand I'm a member in good standing of the College of Dynamics. My first adventure was a transatmospheric converter. And one day, my adoring fans will say that I have surpassed even my first advisor, Mistress Senga. I mean, best, I mean business. I am the bruiser, the muscle, the bearer. You don't want to poke. You don't want to poke. My headband keeps my vision clear, no matter how physical I get. Signed, Phalian. Good. I am Asura. I personify genius. My ancestors were driven from the heart of the earth, forced to live in this bright, wide world. Of course, we've excelled. We exceed expectations in everything we do. With Gollum and Gate and Arcane Crystal, we have asserted our supremacy in this land, and made it our own. We will not move another inch. Not for dragons, not for anyone. The eternal alchemy is a fluid contrivance, ever evolving, ever fluctuating. I believe in the power of transformation. I belong to the College of Dynamics. Dynamics crews thrive on permutation. We're always advancing, morphing into something new. I'm the lever, and my excellent crew is the fulcrum. Together, we will move the world. We will force reason from chaos. I've just been informed that defective golems, not mine of course, are causing havoc out in the jungle. Whatever the imbeciles outside the city have broken, I'll fix and make my name doing so. I'll lead the masses through metamorphosis to an improved future. This is my story. Alright, so let's see. Um, what do I need to do? I need to go here, of course. You there? Yeah. Get over here and fix this. Alright, let's see what I can do. What is that? The zoo head of thorns is now available for purchase. Uh, no, not now. My duties are more technical. It's pure chaos out here. Unacceptable. What's going on? Just what it looks like. These golems have gone mad. Zoja suspects someone tampered with them. And by someone, she means the inquest. Zoja's rarely wrong. Don't tell her I said rarely, by the way. If it is the inquest, she's going to need help. Where can I find her? 
at the malfunctioning gate that's spitting out these deranged golems. She claims she could feel them on the other side of the gate laughing at us. Not for long. I'm going to help Zoja shut down the problem at its source. Thanks for the information. Alright, so we need to go to the source of it all. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was a golem. I want a golem! That was. What else? So we need to go here. Gotta find a golem. That's a walker. Oh, wait, no, that's not a walker. That's a bad one. You're a baddie. Sell this locale. Oh, whatever. Need to go here, so let's go to that portal. So she's gone through the portal. Get in there quickly. She'll need your help. Okay. Look, Snap's footnote has joined our little party. And she brought friends. Teo? Oh. For a second there, I thought someone dangerous was behind this. Oh, spare my tender feelings. It's true. I'm not dangerous. But these golems are. Here, let them show you what dangerous really means. What are you doing, lady? Defensive protocol. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I wasn't thinking that that was going to happen. Defensive protocols suspended. To be honest. Oh god, I'm so bad at this. Remember you just learned. Don't mess with the inquest. Oh, she's dead, isn't she? So if I kill him, that one is going to die too. That's cool. So the ink was killed. So that one is killed too. Huh. Why that is, I have no idea, but that's nice. Do you know? Teo. What is she doing over there? Killed. So one more. You're looking a little wobbly. You won. Did that Here. scramble? I will find another guest. Yes. Looks like the guest of honor has arrived. Let's take it down. Well, he was gone, and he's gone again. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's you again. I see you survived with your epidermis intact. Of course. 
takes more than a giant rampaging inquest golem to get the better of me. Heh, <laughs> modest too. Well, you've earned a dash of praise, if you ask me. The crews around the city would kill for the assistance of an inventor with your talents. You should ask around. Make yourself invaluable. Not a bad idea. Thanks. So I leveled up? No. Can I get any better? Indeed, I can. Oh, I did. So able to put some new points or not. I don't know exactly. Hey, I got that one. I got a new thing. That was it. Hello there. Welcome to Metrica Province. You'll find private laboratories all over where our crews work on dangerous research. And we pay the price for excellence. Labs need to be carefully maintained, but I'm sure that's not news to you. We see a fair bit of interference from the Inquest. They're envious of our advances and covered our research materials. Our researchers could use someone with your talents. On your journey, you may also encounter nefarious events in the world. Don't let these opportunities pass by you. Jump in and help! As you get about, you'll encounter our Magi Matter transportive devices, more commonly known as waypoints. They're mini-gates that, for a trivial fee, transport you across great distances. They're the second most convenient way to travel next to our gates. Okay, so... I need to know where I need to go and what I need to do. Sort of. I still think there are cute little thingies to use your but they are such high of themselves. Like they're the best that there is. Well, I'm not really fond of that always. Fascinating. Aren't you Dua? What kind of going machine are you working on? Trying to land the hand. So I need to do something. Probably I did it wrong. I think it's the right way. Okay, do that. Okay. And you. The gun is a standby mode. How would you proceed? Uh, Infant move matrix. Uh, uh, I don't know. Probably it is. Probably wrong. Please wait. 1,417 errors. Well, that's not that much. Is it? Stand by mode. 
Or something that we can fight. Can we fight you? Yes. Oh, that's too far away. That's what I was wanting to show you guys fighting. What's that? And he's gone. And he's dead. Good. I'm not gonna fight you. I'm not gonna fight you. Oh, I cannot fight you, you're good. By the way. Yeah, I'm going to exterminate you, I guess. Somewhere you can go to your bag, like there. What is that? Consume a bulk of data, random booster plus. Yes. Oh. No idea. Alright. Whatever. Jungle grub. I didn't want to kill the cricket, or the, the frog. Why do I say cricket? Ew. It's a freaking frog. Like you cut their heads off. That's not what you do, it just looks like. I don't know why I want to kill them, but... Gross! But well, this was a little bit of a Azura thief. That's what she is. So that's a little bit of the beginning of what you can do as a, as a thief in, in the Azura surroundings, the starting area of them. So... Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys liked it. And I hope I will see you guys in the next one that I make. And bye bye.